Well, if you need anything at all, you just give me a call. I will. Bye. Wait, Blair? Yeah, I'm here. I, I need to tell you something. Well, what is it? <laughs> How'd you do it? How the hell did you frame Tomas? Blair, I'm gonna have to call you back. Todd? Todd, what's going on? You need to knock, Jack. This was my father's office. I know you loved Victor. But Jack, I'm your father. You'll never be my father. I don't care how many lies you print. Look at this crap. You've had the paper for what, like a month? You're already ruining it. Actually, circulation's up. Oh, like that'll last? Everyone knows you're just using this paper trying to convince people you're innocent. No, Jack. Every word in that article is true. Delgado did confess. I don't believe you. Okay. Call your mom. Ask her. Mom! Hi! Hi I'm sorry that I'm late. It's all right, beautiful. You're on the phone? Yeah, you're, um... Your dad just called. He was checking up on me. So much for not pushing it. What'd you say? Hmm? What? Nothing. No, we're all just really worried about you. Are you okay? You know what? I'm not sure. Tomas confesses to murdering Victor, which means I uh, fell in love again with a very violent man. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Jack, every word in this article is true. Delgado did confess to your mother. You would know that if you actually read the article. I thought they couldn't find him. Well, they haven't found him. I mean, it was a call on the computer. It was a, a video chat. You can call her and ask her. I was just on the phone with her when you barged in. Go ahead. Call her, ask her. You say you have feelings for Tomas. It's not like you married him. This is not the point here. See, I made a decision. I opened my heart. And now you regret it. And I had a choice. And I could have... I, you know what? Forget about it. I'm not even going to talk about this. You better you tell know, me. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Who needs it? I don't. Let's go get a hot chocolate. They have, they have real whipped cream here. Unbelievable. You're not going anywhere until you tell me what you were going to say. You don't want to hear this, sweetheart. Yes, I do. Want. Okay, it's about your father, okay? For weeks, I have felt that he really was trying to tell me something, okay? And before I rode off into the sunset, I told you about this already. And before I rode off into the sunset with Tomas, I felt like I needed to talk to your dad to find out what he was thinking. Yes. And then he went off and you decided that you could not live with his temper. Yes, because I can't. Right. Okay, it's just that I You thought, made your decision, you are not gonna change your mind. Right, because I do not wanna be involved with yet another man who could end up in jail or in a ditch, okay? And now look at me. Are you going to change your mind? This is a lie. You must have forced him to confess. How? The guy's a CIA assassin. Nobody can force him to shave. Well, then you must have bribed him. You have the money after you stole my father's life. Okay, I swear to you on my mother's recently dug grave that I did not bribe Tomas Delgado to confess to the murder of Victor Lord. Well, you must have done something because he didn't do it. You did. Jack, I know that you need to believe that because it makes it okay that you stay so far away from me. All I know is you did it. I'm not perfect. I've made a lot of mistakes, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm your father. Victor is my father. You can take his name. You can take his money. You can take this stupid newspaper, but you can't take me. The stupid newspaper that you tried to burn down? Why would I try to burn down the sun? Oh, come on. Save it. I know you were here that afternoon. I know that it was you that made that phone call that, pretending to be me, where you sent everybody home because you didn't want to see them get hurt, and that was the last right thing that you did. You have to have your way, huh? You would rather see this place burn to the ground than have me run it. Did I get that right? You can't prove anything. Can't I? Here we go. Nothing like a good cup of hot chocolate on a cold day, huh? Mmm. Would you quit stalling? Are you going to give Dad a chance? Sweetheart, nothing has changed in terms of your father. He can still fly off the handle. God, you should have seen him the other night. 
looked at his office, and he was right up in Tomas's face, and it just... Oh, my God. What? You remember when I told you I went looking for your dad? Yeah, yeah, at his office. But your dad wasn't there, but Tomas was. Okay. In your dad's office alone, and I thought it was weird. But Tomas said he was just there to warn your dad about Baker. Baker's that guy that... Yeah, who worked for Irene. I right. Do you know what? He wasn't there to warn him about Baker. My bad. He was there to frame your dad for Victor's murder. So that's why Tomas was in dad's office that night? To frame him? Yeah. I mean, why not? Until Tomas confessed, everybody thought your dad had done it. Not everyone. Okay, you always see the good in your father, and I do appreciate that. But John was convinced that your dad had done it, and he was just waiting to find the murder weapon so he could turn the case over to the DA, except Tomas is the one that had the gun because he took it from Louis. And I'll bet you another one of these hot chocolates that that's what he was doing in your dad's office. He was trying to plant that gun in there until I walked in and caught him. Well, then why didn't he plant the gun after you left? Because your dad walked in and he couldn't do it. That's why Tomas had the gun. That's why he hid it in the back of that drawer. He was just waiting for another opportunity to frame your dad. And that's also why John could never figure out why Tomas never got rid of the murder weapon. Now we know why. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. What are you talking about? It makes perfect sense. And your father knew it. <sighs> he knew all along. And you know, here, I thought he was just acting all crazy jealous, but, but he was right about Tomas. Instead of me staying there and following my plan, talking to your dad about stuff, I went home and I, I slept with Tomas. Mom, that's too much information. Just learn from my mistakes, dear. Learn from my mistakes. So what are you saying? Are you saying that you should have picked Dad? You know, the thing about Proof Jack is you only really need a tiny little bit of it, especially when you're dealing with John McBain. What does he have to do with anything? Oh, he was on to you. My assistant was about to tell him that you were the one who made the phone call that sent everybody home that afternoon. So why didn't she? Because I stopped her. What, you think she's the new Sun fashion editor because of her fine sense of fashion? When she moved into her office, she was wearing high heels with sweatpants. So am I supposed to thank you now? Yeah, I think you should thank me for not spending your sophomore year in lockup. Why would you do this for me? Because you're my son. And that's what fathers do. I don't care what you do to me, Jack. I don't care how much you try and hurt me. I will never stop loving you. What do you want me to say? You don't have to say anything. We're family, Jack. We'll do whatever it takes to protect one another. You and your sisters mean everything to me. I don't ever want anything bad to happen to you. I'll do whatever it takes to protect what's mine. So there you have it, son. Now you know how far I'll go to protect you. <laughs> Easy, Scarface. You promoted your assistant. It's not like you took a bullet for me. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Let's talk terms. Terms? Yeah. What are you talking about? I thought you said you did this because we're family. No. Um, you're going to come here and you're going to work every day for me after school. You are going to finally accept that I didn't kill Victor. You are finally going to accept me as your father. Are you blackmailing me? Essentially, yeah, but I'm also offering you a job. We have a deal? Deal. Also, never ever going to call me Scarface again. Well, I'm not gonna start calling you Dad. Baby steps, Jack. Little baby steps. We can't rewrite history. All we can do is move forward and hope that we don't make the same mistakes twice. You know. But you wanted to know what he was thinking, so you must have been curious. I don't know if I was curious. I was just hopeful. Hopeful maybe that things had changed, but. They haven't. Your dad still gets angry. I still choose the wrong man. Business as usual. Okay, but now you can, now that you what? see that, you can change it. 
can't. No, I can't. Because I'm done with man. Uh-uh. Three strikes, I am out. Three. Todd, Eli, Tomas, I am done. Let's go get a tree. Come on. Oh, I think that it. Dad had it right all those years. About what? Are you okay? I'm fine. About what? About having the tree delivered. Well, I think he might be right about that. This is heavy. I'm going back to the guys at the lot and telling them that we changed our okay. minds. Okay. Can I just say one, one more thing? About? Trees? No, it's about Dad. <laughs> please, please listen to me. I know that you've been hurt a lot mm -hmm. by Dad and Tomas and Eli. Star. A lot of others. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you, know, you feel like you can't trust yourself right now. That's only because you just now finally figured it all out. <laughs> right? You just have a thing for exciting guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> we, that, yeah, that's one way of putting okay, it. Okay, but like I said, you didn't marry Tomas. You took your time with him. And yes, you got hurt, but there was no permanent damage. Why don't you tell that to my heart? You have the biggest heart out of anyone that I know. Star. You do. And you should use it. I want you to fall in love again. And I do not blame you for swearing off guys for a while, <laughs> but not forever. Please. You're going to find that right person. And now that you know the truth about yourself, you can't help but find no one. Mm -hmm. What in the world would I do without my little wise one here? You will never, ever have to find out. Love you. I love you. The one? The one. Is that you, John? Are you happy now? You're keeping me prisoner here. You'd rather serve the rest of your time in Statesville? I can't. I'm a minor. I'm pretty sure they're going to try you as an adult. Looks like you and I are going to be spending a lot of time together, Jack. Fine. Can I go now? Sure. Oh, hey, wait, Jack. One more thing. <laughs>